in California, um, a revolutionary named Howard Jarvis comes along and, and convinces Californians to vote for Proposition 13, which limited property taxes across the state. That cut San Francisco's property tax rate by two-thirds. They went from a 3% rate to about a 1% rate overnight. Um, everybody predicted disaster. Um, everybody predicted that the children would have no school books, uh, there would be no firemen uh, putting out fires and so forth. Uh, to everyone's surprise, uh, San Francisco immediately started to repopulate. Um, faced with a more secure and favorable investment environment, a lot of businesses decided to come back to San Francisco. A lot of residences started to get built or upgraded and so forth. So there was this dramatic treatment effect. The only thing that had changed in San Francisco was the tax rate. Nothing else had changed. Um, the political culture was what it was. The school system was what it was. The crime rate at, at the time, I mean, if, you, if you're as old as me, you remember the Dirty Harry movies and you know the, the streets of San Francisco. That's where you went to film crime shows, right? Um, none of those things had changed. In other words, we didn't solve all of the social problems and then say, oh, welcome back, people. Welcome back, businesses. We, we addressed a fundamental problem that the city was having, and that had to do with the property rights that people had to their residences and their businesses. At a 3% tax rate, they just didn't feel that their property rights were secure, they, and so they ran away, and investment flowed away, and so did the people. It turned around overnight. 